Ooh. Dang it. <laughs> okay, so I just got home, as you can see, as you can tell, as you may see, I'm home. Can't type my password in, right? But I'm home. Hold on a second. Okay, so um, I'm home. What? Oh well. Um. I have been busy. <laughs> I've been working kind of shift to shift until I had gotten hired with this new company. And I'm hoping to hear back from them either because I haven't heard from them within the last day. So I'm probably going to hear something as late as Tuesday, like I said. Um, and then I'm trying to hope. It'll be funny if I hear from the same, from the two different companies on the same day, you know, that, that'll be funny, but I digress. So, um, we'll see how that goes. It's, I see it happening. <laughs> Me just being on the phone all day again, being like, hi, yeah, I got it, I get it, get it. Okay. So, um, there's that. But I'm hoping to get the other position as well. That's a little more money coming in. Um, especially depending on how they schedule me. The only thing with three companies would be scheduling. <laughs> That's the only thing that would really kind of push the boundaries, push the buttons a bit to really, um, kind of mess everything up. But I'm trying to stay on top of my schedule. I'm trying to make sure I know what days I'm available so I can tell the company whenever I get hired, of course. Um, what's going on? Because one of the companies I'm waiting on a background check. The other company I'm waiting on a drug test and a background check. And hoping that I get the other one. I've already hired with the other company. I just need my shifts. I need to be scheduled with somebody. Again, it's ideal that I'm with one person specifically. Because they kind of get used to you and they talk to you. And if something's wrong, they'll tell you. And they'll kind of coordinate with you so you can tell the company what they need and go from there. Um, I've been busy. I've been really tired. I'm going to take a nap at some point this afternoon because I've been so tired. By the end of the day, I crash. And I crashed early, because last night alone I crashed early, and it's like, I think he said it was like not even 10. It was not not even 9 or 10 o'clock, and that's usually when we, we would kind of start going to bed and everything, you know, getting ready at least. But sometimes we have dinner late, but that's alright, you know, nothing wrong with that, but it's like I crashed early, and he's like, okay. I'll let you sleep, and I'm like, 15 minutes, I'll wake up in 15 minutes, and we'll hang out, we'll play games, we'll do everything there, and I'm like, I, I fall asleep for an hour or two on end, and wake up at a weird time, and he's asleep, and I'm like, damn it, <laughs> it's weird, and I don't like that I've been falling asleep so, so um, quickly, because we do still need time together, you know, but I don't know, it's a me thing, <laughs> I need to work on it. My scheduling is, like I said, going to be the biggest issue, my biggest concern. But again, I'm trying to stay on top of my schedule so I know when I can be scheduled for whichever client, for whatever company at the time. I'm pretty much with my main company, the starting company. My hair is bothering me. With my starting company that I joined, I've got a pretty solid schedule. Well, I'm, I've got two clients for them. I'm considering keeping one of my clients that's not a private pay client, but she's so sweet, and I le I really love this client. She is so sweet, and I would really hate to have to drop her because I don't want to do that. And she's even like, I'm keeping you, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I, I have two clients, though. I have my Tuesday and Thursday shift, and now I have a new client with a double shift, Mondays and Fridays. It was supposed to be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but she only requested two days. But that could change, I'm hoping. Because <laughs> that would help. <laughs> um, 
especially if we kind of get a good feel for each other and we're working out really well. It's a good shift too. It's a, like I said, that's my morning and afternoon shift. And all in one day, twice a week, Mondays and Fridays. So I got that shift covered. Thank God. And then um, I'm trying to get, I'm still hoping to be scheduled next week at the very latest. Otherwise, I'm going to have to have the other company fill me in for the week again until I can get through. But I'm pretty sure that it's going to go through on Monday and I'm going to hear back and be like, you can clock in now. We'll give you the list of clients and you can kind of choose what shift you want to work. The shift start at four hours and can proceed to longer hours, but that's my starting. That's my starting point at like four hours with the client. And I'm like, yes, that's something. <laughs> Especially at the pay. That's not bad money. And it's still money. So it's coming in. It's just I gotta be scheduled. And again, I'm still waiting on the other company to be like, you got it. Because <laughs> right now I'm not hearing anything and I don't like it. <laughs> but patience. Patience is key. <clears throat> I've also had a realization as far as um, my life in a way and I want to talk more about it in another video because it kind of ties together with why I'm here in this house with this family why I'm part of this family it kind of ties in and ropes in with it so I kind of want to do that in a separate video maybe another day maybe later I don't know I haven't decided I need to do chores that's what I need to do but I've kind of realized and I'm going to do this fast because again I got it uh, excuse me um Something I'm struggling with at the moment is kind of discipline within something I want to do. Like, driving has always been something in the back of my head that I'm putting on the back shelf. Like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. But I haven't really... I've been making excuses for it. Like, I can't do it, I don't have the time. Some of them are excuses and some of them are just like, I'm lazy and I don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like putting in the work to really do something that can actually help me <laughs> especially with my current job you know each person I've spoken to even my current company they were like you know if you drove it would be different we could give you better shifts and you know it's just a matter of distance and where the client actually is and how long you can stay with them and not have to rely on like the bus that stops running at a certain time and me be stuck in their neighborhood and be like um somebody pick me up you know it'd be different if I had a car I'd be independent I'd have my own use of transportation like I was telling Jill I was like you know I could really do it like I know I can do it I'm capable of doing it I'm just not pushing myself to that limit where I I'm really encouraging myself I'm kind of bringing myself down and thinking it's a lot of work it's a lot of studying you're trying to work a full-time shift you don't have time to learn to drive but other people like the normal is like you go to school you have a job yes it's exhausting but it's life it's kind of a learning curve it's kind of what you bounce back and forth to by keeping your own schedule and maintaining your own life with making sure you have time for yourself. Which I want to do today. I'm making that point. But you know what I'm going to do today for myself? I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> because I am tired. <laughs> I don't feel it until like the end of the day. Because like my adrenaline. I was talking to my boyfriend about it. And he's like that's your adrenaline. It's kicking in. It's kind of keeping you going throughout the day. So you don't feel the weight your body is putting on you. But trust me, at the end of the day, it all kicks in and it's all at once like a, like a, like a hit in the face. I couldn't think of an expression there. But it hits me all at once and I'm like, shit, I'm so tired. I'm like, why am I so tired? And I remember remembering my week. I'm like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. And that checks out. One, two, yep, I'm tired. So that makes perfect sense to me why I'm always tired. But I'm trying to work hard for my current situation, for my current um, living situation, and really for myself as well, 
I'm trying to be responsible. I'm trying to really put work into my own life. I'm trying to do what's best for me in this very moment in time. I'm trying to do all of that while maintaining relationships and maintaining a relationship with myself. To be able to be like, okay, I need to step back for a second. I need a break. I need me time. I need a nap. <laughs> you know? But I was thinking about it today and I was like, I could do that. I could call resources here in my own city. Like the DMV or I think it's the DMV or it's something along the lines of a DMV. It has to be a DMV. See, I don't know these things. I need to research. I need to call around. I need to get the information on what I actually got to know in order or what I actually, like the steps in order to know how to get your license, be able to drive, you know, two different things, <laughs> but they're the same thing and the weeds are the same thing and it's like, ah, I'm at a point where I want to pull my hair out. I'm trying to work hard for myself. I'm trying to give myself that satisfaction of you can do this. You just need to work toward it. You need to work hard to get to that point where you can say, I have my license. I even got to get my ID changed. I'm, I, I, I need my ID changed. I need my address changed. I, I, got, I got stuff to do. <laughs> They're not too important, but... <laughs> It'd be nice to have it, you know, but that takes time and being in that spot that I got my idea, that, that's a, that's a all day thing. If you let it be, depending on when you get there, it's like there's 50 people in, ahead of you and you're just like, eh. that's when you bring a good book. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I'm trying to do better for myself. I'm trying to love myself. I've been doing a routine in the morning where I listen to a very happy song that brings me a lot of joy, especially from it being from my childhood and something that I remember very well. Always start my day out with that song. And Louise Hay, I think I've mentioned her before, I was recommended her videos by my boyfriend's mother and I love them. They are so inspiring and it's really kind of made me think different about myself and um, my life. It's really made me look at it more and be like, you know, I'm in charge here. This is my path. This is my road. I'm the one that has all the power here to really decide what I want to do to decide my path and I'm repeating myself at this point but it's it's my choice it's my life this morning I was a little teed off because I had had an argument with my father and again I'm not going to go into detail I'm just gonna say it was frustrating because I don't feel like I'm being heard I don't feel like they're he's understanding my point of view within the situation because he hasn't seen it in its full force he wasn't there to see it and it's really made things difficult for me normal things that everybody at my age would have been doing or is doing at this point in time I had done <laughs> riding the bus was new to me and I know I keep talking about it but y'all Riding the bus. That's amazing. To me, anyway. Other people are like, eh, the bus. I don't want to take the bus. I want to drive. Or I'll take a lift. You know, that's more money, but okay. That's your choice. I like the bus. It's frustrating, yes, but I do enjoy the bus. But, you know, it's, it's weird. I'm trying trying to really do good for myself and I feel like I've really done better than everything else and I don't feel like it's being seen while it's difficult granted the situation I was put in before I had come here and then coming here and having all this freedom and expression to be able to tell them what I need or what I 
want help with or what I don't understand. I can actually speak up and say, you know, I don't understand. But I'd like to learn or I'd like more information on what you're speaking about. Riding the bus was new to me. Going to work by myself, that was hard at first. I was <laughs> a little nervous and I had been there before. I know the job. I've been with a client for a few uh, months now and yet I was nervous to go by myself so that was interesting and you know a lot of what had happened in that household really set me up for nothing <laughs> it didn't I wasn't taught what I should have been taught I wasn't um, able to experience what I needed to experience. I was trapped in a limbo of doing the same thing every day, getting yelled at for things I didn't even do. Everything in between, again, not too much detail here, but I was not being hurt. I was not able to try in order to succeed. I failed and failed countless times. But I felt like I wasn't succeeding in what I wanted to do. I felt like things were chosen for me instead of me having a voice to say, you know, I don't like this. And when I did speak my mind about certain things, I was told it was the attitude of my mother or things that other people were telling me or speaking for me versus my own word. You know, I, I don't, I didn't feel like I was being heard. And so I've kind of, when the situation came to where I came here and I was left here, I stayed. Because honestly, why would I go back to a situation where I'm not going to go anywhere? I won't be allowed to go anywhere, to do anything, to improve, to fail. I love my family. I do. They're my family. They're my blood. But I want... And something I'm still struggling with and I spoke to my boyfriend about today was boundaries. What boundaries would I set? What, I don't even know where to begin with them. <laughs> I mean, we talked about a few, but really to have them be crossed as they've always been has really set me up for failure. And while, again, I said you got to try to succeed, I'm basing a lot of what I had learned in that household in my life now. When I had spoken about um, me being in a situation where I'm being talked to about something I did wrong, and I know I did wrong, and I break down in tears because of it. That's not normal. You shouldn't have to do that. I shouldn't have to do that. Or when I'm countlessly apologizing for things I didn't even do that's not normal that's not it's it's not ideal it's not it's how I was brought up but it's not okay and I'm trying to break those cycles and I'm working through my issues and I'm working on my communication and I've gotten better I'm not perfect. I will never be perfect in that sense. But I can improve with my habits that I've built and kind of circled my life around to keep myself safe, to, keep, to feel as though I was safe in my own bubble. Thinking that everything was my fault and everything in between, you know, it was hard. It still is. It kicks my ass at times because I'm like, shit, you know. What do I do? Why was I brought up this way? Why was I taught nothing <laughs> regarding my body or my future or what I could possibly do? I felt as though I was always being brought down. While I was being encouraged at points in my life, I was also scared of my future scared of what the heck I'm gonna do when I get out of high school did I think I was gonna be a caregiver when I got out of high school heck no but it was a job and it's still my job I didn't picture myself doing this job I like it 
but it's not what I want to do with my life. I really enjoy helping people. The, I enjoy helping the elderly within my community. There's nothing wrong with it. I love hearing their stories. I love helping them. I love the smiles I get when I um, ask them how their day is or ask them if they're all right or if they want me to make them a sandwich. You know, I love the smile that I get from a lot of my people that I've worked with and the bond that you kind of start with them. You may never see that client again, but you made a good impression on them. And you'll for sure as hell remember them. I've only had one client that really at first liked me a lot and we got along all right. But then, you know, they got uncomfortable or they didn't like a certain thing I was doing and they called it off and I was like, okay. There's other people that need my help and I'm hoping that she had found somebody who she's comfortable with helping her with what she needed done or what I lacked to do the way she wanted it done. I I am happy that I have this job. I'm grateful that I have this job. This is important to me. I work very hard with my client. I work hard to make sure that I am making my client feel comfortable and relax they shouldn't have to do a single thing they have lived a great life and you know I never thought I'd be a caregiver but I really enjoy it I love doing it I just don't want to do it for the rest of my life I've always said photography was something that I really wanted to pursue while I still do there's other things that I could put my passion into my work into my heart into there's a lot of things out there that even are still developing there's so much opportunity out there that I don't even know about yet there's so much yet to come that I don't even know about you don't even know about yet I really really just feel grateful for the position that I am in I just want to figure out what the heck I'm going to do next because honestly I have no clue but I do know what I want to start to do I want to start to drive I want to at least learn and get the information I need to get to that goal I want to be okay with having me time to be by myself I'm used to being around a lot of people I'm used to being around the people that I love But I know that they need space to digress themselves. And I could be a lot at times. I feel like I raise my boyfriend's blood pressure every day <laughs> with some of my shenanigans. Yet he raises my blood pressure all the time, I feel like, by scaring me. He has a tendency to do that. So if I'm ever on video and you see me jump or yell, you know, headphone users beware. But <laughs> he's prone to doing it and I will not ever put it past him. Last night alone, we were talking about wanting to live in a school. And I brought the idea up to Jill, and she's like, heck yeah, let's do it. And I'm like, really? I thought it would be completely different. But me and Jill have always talked about having, like, accessible housing. Like, barn doors that were easy to move so she could get through the door. And huge rooms, and kind of put our own style into it. And we are all on the same page about it. I was a little hesitant because I was like, how would that work? I didn't understand. But talking through it with both of them kind of made me be like, you know what? That sounds really awesome. It's not too common for people to do that either, but it's an interesting idea. I had never thought that, that would ever be a possibility. Like, you know, you go through four years of high school. Why would you want to live in the school? Or a school system within that way. But honestly, thinking about it more and more, I love the idea. There would be so much space. There would be so much potential in the space. Depending on what kind of school you get. Like a middle school or, God forbid, like, you know, you get a high school. That would be super lucky. But 
it's not too common. It's not too common for people to want to live in a school. But I think it's awesome. I've been talking to y'all for 24 minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Big rant, but you know, I'm, I'm excited about the possibilities and what I can do for myself. What work I can put into what I want to do for myself. What hard work I can do to really get to my goals. That'll be interesting. I'm curious. Annie. Annie! Annie! I'm trying to listen for her bell. Annie! I don't know where she's at. She may come in. I don't know. She's quiet! She is quiet. I know y'all saw that video. That is Annie, our sweet little baby. Um, she's really gotten used to me. When I had first come here, came here, words, grammar, hello. <laughs> when I had first came here, she knew of me because I had came to visit before. But she was still, we were still in the beginning process of our relationship. And now, when I leave the house to go to work, she always comes and sees me out the door. Always wants my pet, let me to pet her. She rolls over on her tummy. It's so flippin' cute! And I love her dearly. She is so beautiful and so sweet. She has her moments of being a little sassy, but she's a ba she's, 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 she's just real, she, words. She is a sweetheart. And she's really come to kind of have a better relationship with me, which I love. Um, and coming here, I uh, didn't didn't think she would really. I thought it would take much longer than it has for her to get used to me and really want my to be around her more. She'll follow me around the house. She'll meet me at the door and leave. Like, she'll she'll watch me out the door and make sure I'm good. She'll play with my shoelaces when I'm trying to tie my shoe to leave for work. Well, it's adorable. It's not very helpful. <laughs> I love her dearly. She is so sweet. She's so sweet. <laughs> and this morning, she wouldn't let me get ready. <laughs> I had a video in the bathroom when I was trying to brush my hair. But I kept dropping the phone, and I was like, y'all don't want to see me drop my phone five times in a row. So I was like, okay, I'll scrap that video. But she followed me to the room, to this room, our room, and she um, did what she did. She rolled on her tummy. She wanted all the pets. She rubbed up against me. She is so sweet. And I got it on video until my boyfriend scared the crap out of her this morning and me too, honestly. I, I feel for her. He does that often, and it's honestly... Keeps me on my toes, but it's good. But it's kind of gotten to a point... It's kind of gotten to a point where I can kind of expect it if I'm really, like... What's the word? I've come to expect it, so I kind of... Words. I get an idea as to when he's going to do it. And I kind of know him and kind of like his little tricks that he tries to pull as far as scaring me and scaring me and any, honestly, anybody, honestly. But he, um, there's days I can predict it and kind of be like, nope, you didn't get me. And other days where I'm <laughs> as if I'm a cat clinging to the top of the roof. Like, ah! But, you know, it's great. He really keeps me on my toes, and trust me, I keep him on his <laughs> with my weird shenanigans. But oh, and as far as Jill, let's talk about that. Today was my last day working for Jill. No more, and no, 
we are still on good terms. We have agreed to be best friends versus me working for her. While it was a good time, and we did clash heads a few times, um, I, I enjoyed it. I just didn't want it to be forever. I kind of wanted her back. She wanted me back, and, you know, as her best friend. And we're on good terms. And we even said that in her video today. If you check it out, you know. You should check it out. Watch her videos! They're awesome. Very educational. Me, I just rant. <laughs> well, so does she, but she's educational. <laughs> I am happy that I'm not working for her anymore. And that may be wrong to say, but at the same time, it's what we've kind of agreed upon and been like, you know, this is, this is okay for you to leave. I love you, but go away. Don't work for me anymore, you know? But in the best possible way, of course. We are okay. We are on good terms. We are still best friends. It's just I'm not working for her anymore. Today was the last day. And again, we are on great terms. Also, um, I don't know if I posted it. I don't think I posted it because I just started vlogging. Like, every day. But, um, as you know, if you've seen her video, she has a baby parakeet. His name is Spirit. And he is such a sweetheart. He is learning to climb. Because his parents have got, he's gotten to an age where he's realized they're not going to tend to his every need anymore. As if he was a baby. I mean, he's still a baby, but you know what I mean. There comes a time when they kind of have to learn by themselves. And he's learning to climb. It was the first time I've seen him do it. Um, granted, I probably would have seen it Thursday. But, again, a lot of complications there. And y'all have seen the last few videos. So you probably know what that's about. But, if you haven't checked him out. I'm just pretty much ranting about my week. But, um, he um, is climbing. And I'm really happy to hear that. He's trying to explore and kind of figure himself out. But what I was going, where I was going with that was, I have videos of me meeting Spirit for the first time. Kind of when he was a baby baby, when he looked like a hairless chicken. But, <laughs> I mean, he wasn't a hairless, oh, he, well, there may be those videos as far back as that. He's only about, I think Jill said like a month or two old. He's such a sweetheart, though. I love him so much. He pooped on me a few times, but, you know, we we're, we made up. It's okay. It was a, it was a good poop. So, he's, he's good. <laughs> and, of course, Soul always wants my attention when I see her. So, you'll see her going, being her usual self. <laughs> She's adorable. I love her as well. Can never do anything until I give Soul attention. <laughs> but, um... You know, I, it's been good. I'm trying to get a schedule. I'm trying to get a routine. I'm trying to do a lot of things for myself, especially, because I know that's what I need to do. I need to be okay with being alone. I need to be okay with myself and my thoughts. I need to figure out how to coordinate my thoughts and remember my thoughts because, you know, something could pop in my head one minute and then ten minutes later it's like, okay, so that thought was what again? That's what sticky notes are for. God, I have a lot of sticky notes. You would think I would use them, but, you know, I forget I have them. And then I hide them so I don't use them on stupid shit. But it doesn't always work. Speaking of which, where did I put that one? Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know. He, um, the room looks different and... That y'all may notice that, but I haven't really shown y'all the room, and I don't think I will, per se. I think my computer is probably catching up with all my messages. Why can't I do that right? So, um, 
I'm trying to do better for myself because I know I need to. And that's really the bottom line here. But I just want it to be known that I'm trying. To be seen that I'm trying to do better for myself. And this is something I can look back on in hopefully the next few months to a year and see how much I've progressed since now. But I will leave y'all at this. I have to do chores and then I can take a nap or eat. I'm hungry. What should I eat? I don't know. Food. I should eat food. But <laughs> um, I'm going to figure all that out. I'm going to have a little me time. Take a nap. I don't know what else after that. I'm just wait for him to get home. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Filming. I do this when I focus. <laughs> Sorry. Filming a video. He 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 he. Smooch. But anyway. Oh, hello. Sorry about that. But, um, I got stuff to do, so.